Good afternoon. Today we're in Sarasota, Florida at Marina Jack. And what you're looking at from here is O'Leary's. O'Leary's is an outdoor restaurant. Today we're going to talk about NAMI, National Alliance for Mental Illness. And we're going to go back starting in 1995 when NAMI's Mental Health Drop-In Center was Prospect House. It was run by Jessica Ventimiglia. Yolanda was Jessica's, assistants, uh, Jessica's assistant. Over the years, Laurel took Yolanda's place, then Kevin Chenault took Laurel's. Kevin's daughter was in a play in the, at the Ellington Ice Sports Complex. Kevin's system of organization kept Prospect House clean and organized. Let's talk about the counselors. Nikki ran groups using creative writing sessions. Karen Dennis was Nikki's partner. Karen's group was a writing session called Reaching Goals, where members wrote daily roles, get daily goals, and about their family life. Bunny Conley was a counselor. Bunny's firmness, understanding, and advice math advice match Nikki's. Dr. Norma advised members to say stop and follow it up with a plan when they were in stressful situations. There were outings in the van. Patrick O'Keefe often took members to places in Venice. Brian Green soon took Patrick's place and he took members to raise baseball and lightning hockey games. Francine later took over and took them to art festivals. Francine was also a counselor. Members, let's talk about some of the members. Tony Yancey was friendly and very outgoing. Members were inspired by Tony's curiosity. Dennis Lawless and Dennis's best friend, Sean Freed played the Three Stooges at NAMI's talent shows. Jamie Roberts went on a lot of outings as well as Jamie's best, best friend, Russell Persqualdo. Andrea Stowbridge was also very outgoing as well as Viola Filpowicz. Viola's Polish accent and her desire to learn American culture gained a lot of support from members. Rebecca Davis was outgoing, and several members had fun at Rebecca's birthday party. Na Na Natalie Knapp was friendly and, and gave people nicknames. Sebe several of us met Natalie's housemate, Marissa Dine Snitzer. Scott McCann had a great sense of humor. Scott McCann's neighbors were Charlie Van Orden and Helen Flanders. Charlie and Helen later joined Prospect House. Charlie's passion for, for the Indian heritage educated many members. Later on, NAMI's Prospect House soon changed their name to, name to Yana. It's hard to determine whose influence made Prospect House the greatest. Was it Jessica's, Yolanda's, Laurel's, Kevin's, Nikki's, Karen's, Bunny's, Dr. Norma's, Patrick's, Brian's, Francine's, Tony's, Dennis's, Sean's, Jamie's, Russell's, Andrea's, Viola's, Rebecca's, Natalie's, Marissa's, Scott McKenna's, Charlie's, or Helen's? The answer is simple, everybody's.